Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm out here in Glasgow for the Wittlem and Joe Laws public workout. And I've got to say, for the first time, delighted to be joined by Jack Owens. Jack, you're up against a young, hungry fighter in Tyler Simpson. 50-50 fight, both 2-0. Oh. Man, that's what boxing's all about. 100%. I said that uh, when I started off my, my boxing career. I didn't want to take it slow. I wanted to fight good game opponent from the early early dot. Uh, my debut was against a tough boy from Estonia. Uh, came through that fight as big man just mentioned there. Went down to England in my second fight and uh, stole the show against an undefeated fighter. Uh, obviously back up my hometown now in Glasgow, uh, fighting against a stable mate. Also an undefeated fighter. Again, these are the kind of fights that get you up in the morning, and get you training, get you going hard. So I'm very much looking forward to it. When that name, Tyler Simpson, was put to you, obviously a young fighter who's hungry, stable mate, how easy was that answer to say yes? Yeah, well, I did say absolutely yes uh, when Ian offered it to me. Uh, like I said, I was chasing another opponent who was going to bring this out of me, get me up in the mornings, get me going for it. And uh, Tyler, like I said, I have heard of him, I haven't met him too much, uh, but I respect him, I know he's done the amateur career. And yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm treating him as a very dangerous opponent and that's how I'm going to be going at this fight as well. At the same way, you both had to get that knockout victory on your record, that big stoppage win. I said the same to Tyler, like, when you've got a fighter which is so much on the line, when it's 50-50, bragging rights, you're from the west coast of Scotland, it's a Scottish derby, you're on a big, huge bill, there's going to be Scottish fans, 50-50 split maybe between you, you and Tyler in that, in that arena. When you've got that on the line, and when you've got somebody that's trying to take your head off at the same time, they're going to leave gaps. I said to Tyler, can we see a stoppage in this one? He was quite confident. Are you confident the same? Yeah, no, like I said, both of you are going to be going in there and going to try to win the fight. You know, not, by no means do I expect me or him to be cagey and trying to feel our way out through the rounds. I think we'll go in and we'll get to business straight away, uh, which is what I plan, and that'll create for an exciting fight. And like you know, when we're both in there flinging our hands, it can happen. Just takes one wee mistake and one of us can touch the canvas. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm just happy with my ability and the training and preparation I've got going into it. So whatever happens on the night happens, you know. Obviously, you didn't have much of an amateur background, did you? I think you've got a kickboxing background, is that right? Yeah, yeah, only a, a broken in and out amateur boxing from when I was a young teenager and then a kind of young adult. Uh, so I've had experience in the amateur game, but uh, not as much as what Tyler did. But I've got a lot of ring experience coming from kickboxing. I know it's a very different sport, but still the actual feeling of walking to the ring, being in front of a big crowd, the, the magnitude of it all. I have been in similar situations in a different sport, so I do believe I'm tested in that area, you know, uh, and I'm very much looking forward to it. To say that, are you? Would that, would that help you in terms of do you have the more experience in being in a, in a tough fight with no head guards, with small gloves, with, in an arena? The Tyler's only had them two pro fights and they might not have been in an arena type thing as well. I don't know if you fought in an arena yet, but you've been that big fight feel with somebody's coming with a 50 50 fight. He's yet to be in a 50 fight, 50 50 fight in his uh, pro career. Would that stand you in good stead, do you believe? Yeah, I think so. As I said, I'm not overlooking Tyler by any means. Uh, I know he's obviously had two wins, the same as myself, but even just me going down to England and my second fight, taking that on, you know, that was gutsy in itself. Never mind coming away with the result that I did. I'm not saying Tyler couldn't have done the same thing had he been given the same opportunity, but I just think that's testament to, you know, my willpower and how much I'm determined to go on and just take MD on. Uh, I'm glad he took the fight. Like as I said, I don't think he's afraid of me or afraid of fighting someone that's game and coming to win. But I do think maybe just that little bit of an edge and that surety of myself, because I have been in there before with tougher opponents, I'd say. Well, final one before I let you go and put your top back on, because you're giving the crowd something to look at. I'll give you that, and they've probably got more female uh, crowd as well. Jack, what's going to happen May 3rd? May 3rd? Uh, I expect a good tight fight over the first couple of rounds. Uh, I do think over the sixth rounder, this is his first sixth rounder, I've had my last fight as my first sixth rounder. Uh, I do think in the later half of the fight, if we get there, I do think my pressure and my volume will be a bit too much for Tyler. Uh, I could be wrong, but like as I say, I think I do eventually will overwhelm him down the distance. If not, get him out there, maybe fourth or fifth. Jack, thank you so much, brother, man, and I'll see you May 3rd. Thank you, brother, thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.